Hello crafting, welcome back to my channel, Ibi's Fine Crafties. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. I am Ibi Wari. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. In this video, we'll be making a coral bead air vine. And guess what? We'll be placing it on a air pin. Yes, you heard me right. We'll be placing it on a hair pin. So let's get crafting. First off, I want to say a big thank you to my first 100 YouTube subscribers. I'm super grateful you chose to walk this great creative journey with me. Thank you. So let's get back to our project. For this project, we'll be needing our jewelry wire. I'll be using 0.5mm wire. We'll be needing our air pin, our coral bead, our tape and our plier if you don't have a plier you can use your scissors to cut so for our jewelry wire like i said we'll be using a 0.5 mm jewelry wire i'll be using 24 inches for this project so if you want your air vine to be your vine to be longer you can take a longer length but for this project i'll be using 24 inches length jewelry wire of 0.5 mm strength so after cutting my wire i'll go ahead and straighten it out a bit i'll just straighten it out a bit with my hands so this jewelry wire is thin but it has a bit of structure to it so it is suitable for making a vine so after stretching out my wire i'll fold it in two i'll fold it in two then still straighten out a bit before i'll start uh, stringing my beads on it So I'll just go ahead with my first bead. So for the first bead, we'll just put it through one, uh, one tip of the wire and take it to the center of the wire. That is the where the wire has the fold. Since you it's folded in two, just move the bead up to that point where you have the fold. Then you start twisting. Hold it firmly. Then you start twisting for about 10 times. Twist for about 10, 10 times. Be careful not to over twist because the wire can snap. So if you cut your wire, you just have to start over again. So 10 times is okay to keep your bead, bead in place. But if you don't want the length um, to come up, um, the distance between the bead to where you've twisted to be long, then you can twist for like five times. So it depends the length you want, then you twist it to that to get that length. So after my first bead, I'll just take up another bead. Then major, if I want it to be the same length with it, you have a certain you just check your distance before you fold it up. If you take it too close to the first one you've um, twisted, your the second bead will be shorter, way shorter. So if you don't want it to be that short, you just uh, check the distance before you fold it up. Then you twist again. You twist for about 10 times again. So once you twist the second one, then you hold the first and the second bead. You twist the second bead to the point where you have the uh, end of the first bead. Then you hold both of them and twist for like, say, five times. You hold both the both of them twist like for five times to help the both of them stay in place then when you make the uh, when you've done this the one length of your wire will be longer than the other one so you string your next bead your next bead coral bead on the longer length of your wire so you string on the longer length of your wire do the same thing check the height you want the your next bead to have then you fold up before you twist 
If you want it short, move it closer to the bead or get it twisted. If you want it longer, create a distance before you fold up and twist and twist. And once you twist it, you hold the three beads already in place now. Then you twist for five times all to uh, all the three beads. You hold them together and twist for five times. This helps what you've twisted to be in place. You already uh, stringed beads to be in place, to hold firmly in place. So practically, this is... Um, basically this is what we'll be doing the next one you go again with the wire that has the longer length because as you're taking up the beads on each um, end of the wires each one you take the next wire will be longer than the one you already just trained your beads on so the next bead you go to the next wire that is basically what we will do. Then you, for this one, I want to apply, I want to string two beads close to each other. So what I did, after stringing the first one, I just twisted only five times. I twisted only five times. Then I moved the second bead because I wanted to be together. I didn't create a distance for um, bending my uh, wire up to get a length so I want it close together so I just moved it close together then I twist five times so it appears like is two beads stringed together then I'll now hold the two of them and string five times again get this part uh, clearly this one I string two beads close together I twisted five times before putting the second bead close to it, twist it five times to get to the uh, length of the other ones I want. Then I held all of them together now and twisted it to keep them in place. So the other, my longer length now, I will also do the same thing. I want to twist um, for that uh, stem, I want to twist two beads. So I'm just checking to see how firm it is. If it needs me to twist a little bit, but it's okay. So I'll just go ahead to string uh, two beads on this other side again. Because what we started with was one, one bead each. But this one now I did two. So I'll be doing two on the other end again. So I'll just go ahead, take the first bead of the two I'll be stringing I'll just put it through then I'll just I'll just bend it up a bit then I'll twist for like five times for about five times but if it's not firmly in place, I'll just still twist a little bit more. But I don't want it to be as long as the other one because I want to string a second bead with it. So now I'm putting the second bead. I'm putting the second bead. I'm putting the second coral bead. So now I'll take it close to that first one I just twisted five times. I'll just take it close, then I'll just twist it five times too. I'll just, it's close to the first one I uh, in string. Then now, I'll now hold that two together and twist. So it looks like it's one. So I'll just hold the two together and twist it. I'll just twist it to keep it firm. Then I'll now hold all the beads I've already stringed and twist them together. So this is what we have. This is what we have. It's looking beautiful already. This is what we have. So I'll just try it on my hairpin. 
So for all you ladies that have a pin line in your house, now you have a good reason to put them to use. No excuses. You have a reason to put them to use with this work in hand. So just go ahead and experiment and put them to use. So I've done the first one. I'll just do a second vine also. I'll just speed up that process. Then we'll get back together. So I'm done with the second vine. I'm done with the second vine. All I'll need to do is to bring both of the vines together and twist them to become one. Because we have uh, leftover jewelry wires, leftover jewelry wire within string our beads up to the tip. So we'll be joining them with that jewelry wire. So we just twist both of them together. Just go ahead and twist it together to form one vine. So for my ladies that have a air pin line around in the house, now you have a good use. You have a good reason to put them to use. So make good use of your air pin with this project and you can share your designs with us on our instagram page at ibis fine crafties or on our facebook page at ibis fine crafties so i'm done twisting both my vines together now it's time to attach it to our air pin so first off i'll bring the remaining part of the jewelry wire through the center of my air pin then pass it up do this firmly as you're pulling it pull it firmly to hold the pin then pass it up in between the vines then bring it back down twist it round the air pin twist it round the air pin Ensure that it's holding firmly. Twist it around the air pin, then bring it through the center of the air pin, then take it back up again. Take it back up again and bring it down. Back up in between the air vine, then bring it down. Pass it through the air pin, through the middle of the air pin. Pass it through the middle of the air pin again and just trying to get it to pass again through the air pin. So this is the reason why we didn't string uh, our beads to the tip of our wire so that we can have what we will attach our, to our pin with. So I'll just pass it through. Then the leftover is not long again to pass through the pin. I'll just cut that off I'll just cut that off then I'll press it down with my plier so I will not have any jewelry wire sticking out so I'll just cut the excess trim it to be short then I'll press it down at the top of my uh, pin just press it down in place So we are almost done. We are almost done. And I'll 
vine will be looking stunning i told you to be a show stopper you're sure to stop any show you go to with this air vine so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it will help you to push out our videos more and have its 100 subscribers my target now is 200 from 200 we'll take it to 500 so please help give it a thumbs up so my videos will be pushed out further more for more people to see and share this video check out our air vine see how firm it is on the air pin see how firm it is on the air pin looking stunning i can't wait to rock this air vine i want to shop I want to stop shows with it <laughs> so please let me know what you think of this uh, video in the comment section just leave the comment uh, leave a comment for us in the comment section I told you I'm going to stop shows with this. Trust me, I'm stopping shows with this air vine. This is me just rocking my air vine to show you all how stunning it looks. So there is nothing we cannot do as humans if we let our imaginations go. We can do a lot. So this is you can decide to do more things with uh, coral beads, other beads, try out other designs and just let your imaginations go. So like I always say, be creative. That is all you need to do. Just be creative and you will do magic. Yes, trust me. You're sure to perform magic with your creativity. So till we meet in our next video, take care and bye.